Okay. So I'm gonna go down here. It's nice to have a mini map uh, on the side where you can see it. Much easier to deal with, I would imagine. And there was something here, so I'm gonna go through that if I can. Hey, Raymu, over there! What? Gah! Ugh, I'm jealous. So jealous. If, it's, if it isn't Parsi, why did you leave the underworld to come here? It's not like I, I like to go out. I was on an, the upper tier of the underworld, when all of a sudden, the massive roots sprouted forth and stretched down the bottom of hell, blocking the way down. I had no choice but to go up instead. Really, how can people carry on the life up here with such a bright light shining on them like this? Ugh, so jealous. I see, that must have took a toll on you. Oh, I thought you came out here to attack humans. That's good, that's good. I was just about to exterminate you. There's something I want to hear about. What is this great tree? Since when did something like this become a shrine on the surface? We don't know either. It grew like crazy here all of a sudden, just a little while ago. It was really surprising. That's it. I just thought of something good. And that's how it is. So it looks like every yokai have been coming to this tree. After all, it looks pretty interesting. Every yokai? How interesting that sounds. Oh, I'm so jealous. I know, right? Oh, I see. That's how it is. We're also planning to scale the tree to do something about it. Want to come along? With this tree and its roots going all the way into the depths of the underworld, the monsters of the tree who walk around like uh, they own this place and yours, and all those yokai inside enjoying themselves, don't you want to beat them all up? Oh, will it work? Just quit it. I've come here just a little while ago, and I'm still being just the light that shrines so brightly up here on the surface. Duh. Well, so much for a Parsi. Anything else changes? What, you're still around here? Huh? Well, excuse me for being out here. By the way, Parsi, do you change your mind? Do you want to come with us now? We can kick the crap out of the monsters inside who strut around with a smug face in their faces and ruin the mood of all the yokas in high spirits. Let's do it. Don't feel like it. Duh. See if anything else changes again. No, so it's still the same. Okay. So let's see if we can get Parsi in the future, from the looks of it. Miss, thank goodness. You guys are pretty scary. Oh, oh my, he's a tank, so, oh my god. I mean, something, I guess. We're almost out of mana already, but that's to be expected. This is like the first stage, you know. Oh, fuck. Okay. Dang, this started pretty tough. I mean, I guess that's how the game started off as well. So, nothing too surprising. Oh, can't go here. What a troll. What a tease. Nope. Trolls feel weird. Like, I'm not too sure where I'm going. It's not as... I don't know. Feel, a, a labyrinth one felt a lot more easier to navigate than this one. Oh my god. We might lose here, honestly. So much. Okay. I'm gonna try to focus in the meantime. Try to get some mana up. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Well, we'll just we'll just continue to explore for now. Ooh. I'll bring me finish it off. Okay, there you go. She can finish it off. Ah, forgot this is gonna be annoying as hell. Since we're so weak. And her mana pool is pretty shitty. Ah yeah, yeah, you would be. Hmm, that voice is. Hello, it's been a while, no? Well, if it isn't I, what are you doing here today? Never mind, you Crow Tengu love these kinds of scoops. You're always there when you can get a scandal like article, and even more for this kind of news story. The truth is, I wanted to come here even earlier. I was a bit, I was preoccupied acquiring information on another bit of good news I had heard, which ended up delaying my investigation of this incident considerably.
What's the big deal with being a bit behind schedule? The delay means the rest of the crow, crow tengu reached here before I did, and they're probably at the floors above by now. This head start they will have to be, the head start they have will be hard to make up. Oh, that's right. There's a lot of you paparazzis. Guess you have a lot, uh, a lot of your own pressures. So do excuse me while I start my comeback. Really now, I've got some catching up to do. She's all fired up. Okay. And there's something there. I can't reach it though, unfortunately. Uh, let's see. Maybe you just don't get item. We'll see. Obtain main equipment. Cypress stick. So it looks like there's an indication between uh the red ones are more like I guess character based. And these ones are item the green ones are items. Uh uh maximum oh maximum MP. That's something like Kane or Raymu. For now, we'll just do that. Uh, this should be good for now. Oh hell, even Marissa would be good too. Actually, Marissa might be better for her damage. Okay, let's continue on. And then, oh. Okay, good, good, good. Concentrate. I'll have Marissa attack since she had the most. I mean, it's something, I guess. Ugh, that's not good, though. Might be better if I just use Renosuke to boost people up. For fuck's sakes. Let's go, let's go with Renosuke. Renosuke has be uh, TP's become zero. He has left the current exploration party. Aww. So they don't have that little quirky dialogue they have when they're out of, you know, they're out of TP. That's unfortunate. I kind of like that. It was fun. Little nice stuff. We found some sort of tunnel at the end of this wall. Looks like we can go through the other side. All right. Nice. Nice. Nice little feature they have. Wait, wait a minute. Look, look. Another side of the grove. What? Oh, that. Another side of Raymond's group location was a mysteriously flowing black orb wandering aimlessly. What's there? That's Rumia, a yokai that can manipulate darkness. She collects the darkness around her and forms a bubble of darkness around her. But it seems blind. I, it, but it, it seems blind her. Shouldn't be it. But it appears it blinds her as well. Something like that, right? Quite the eccentric yokai. I wonder if, it, if she can hear me if I call her from here. Hey, Rumia! Huh? Someone called? Oops, I bumped my head. I can't see in front of me. Ow. Ow. Looks like she went somewhere off. That was predictable. Alright, we'll do a little more exploring. Oh shit. That's not cool. Come on. Oh, for fuck's sake, just fucking die. Hard husk. Yeah, Rima, you're definitely not exploring more. We're done. What is this? In recognition, uh, okay, so these achievement gives us items too, so that I can't complain too much then. Alright, so this is, okay, now, which one of all ones, you know? Cool. So one, um, I guess, magic for now. It's much simpler as you remember before the level of bonuses back in Labyrinth. You had all the stats, including like this, the uh, this like the uh, element affliction, affliction, or whatever you know, like the ones you can be better to against Mystic or whatnot. But now this is just like the main stats: max HP, attack, defense, magic, magic defense, and speed. 
So much easier to deal with. Like, I like that. Kane's kind of like a tanky person too. Let me compare their stats. So actually, no, Kane has more defense than Rinosuke. So yeah, she might be the better tank. On actually, yeah, she is the better tank at this point. Fuck. What's the difference between her and Rinosuke though? Like she's just like she's just better than Rinosuke in all aspects. But he can't. He's more of a support though. But still. But she can get. She doesn't get on much as compared to Rinosuke's HP stats though. Defense stats. Nope, the vest's not good. Magic. I don't know what I want to boost her up, really. I guess for now, tankiness. Formation. I'll put Kane there. And then we'll use the money. Because we should have a lot. For people now or at least you know a better amount okay that's good enough and marissa okay so we just change characters pretty easily now uh you just move left and right on the keys i'm using the keyboard right now so move the characters and it's up and down for the stats which is nice which is nice Might as well increase her stats as well. Okay. Oh yeah, items. So let's equip some items. I think we got something as well. Did we? Or was it in this? Or was it in this one? Oh fuck! I don't know. We got achievements. What was the achievement? I mean, it gives, it gives you the stats, which is nice. Um, the HP, the affinity, um, what's called again? And what else was it? Like, the, the items I can give, which is nice, which is nice. Uh, walk until 200 steps. I need to jump. I don't know. Or is it like something else? Use special items. There you go. I'm just gonna you. Uh, and it increases the character's maximum TP when used. You can use it at the Hakura Shrine. Up to 10, up to 10 may you be used per character. Up to 10. Per oh, okay, so I guess you can use up, like, if you wanna, uh, you can only use up to 10 if you wanna try to get super high. You can only do 10 and max. Okay. Okay, let's hope this helps out a bit more. Explore again. Obviously, it's gonna be kind of how like it did the first beginning. Up leveling up, back up, get better, stronger. You know the normal stuff. That's just how it's gonna be for some time anyway. Something I have to get used to again. Since I'm like much weaker now, so that sucks. Huh? What's that over there? Oh, visit Remu. Oh, and Marissa, and a second-hand shopkeeper too. Owner too. Hey, we ain't extras over here. What would you be all doing entering this place as a group? I could ask the same thing. What are you doing here? As for us, we're doing the usual, sticking our necks, uh, our neck into the trouble because it looks interesting. Ah, yes, that was entirely what I expected. Raymond and Mercer really do give up that impression to everyone else, huh? Anyway, enough of that. What about you? You don't seem to be a sort to stick your neck into this mess. It's not like I came to this place because I wanted to. Lady Yuriko got really excited since this gigantic tree appeared just when she was feeling bored. So she she was going on about how she wants to give this place a visit. She kept telling me things like the journey to becoming a wooded swordsman begins with a search for an appropriate sword, which will also polish your skills. So Yomu, go on, go look for a sword in that tree, and so on. Were you trying to imitate Yuriko's voice just now? Ah, did it sound like her? Eh, not really. Uh anyway, you came here to do as you're told, then? Of course not, no one could cater to Lady Yuko's every whim and besides, I already have my Rokan Ken and my Hakuro Ken. I just happened uh, to come here to kill some time, enjoying the cooling at atmosphere and return to, uh, return to Hakuroko uh, after. The garden still needs cleaning. 
uh, her, you know, her swords. Those are the two swords you carry with you. The long and short one. Yes, they are both very good swords. If we aren't seeing things, your short sword, the Wakizakishi, is nowhere to be found. Huh? No, I've left it around here. Huh? What? No, that's impossible. What, really? My Hakuro Kin's gun? Ugh, what? No way. Um, you know, for a sword master not to be able to keep an eye on a sword, you may still be a provisional sword master, but it's pretty embarrassing, don't you think? No, it's different. It was really dirty just a moment ago. This can't be happening. Where's my Hakuroken? Well, good luck. Wait, please, please look for it for, uh, with me. Sorry, not can do. We got places to go. Gah, where is it? I'm still gonna have to find it and give it to Yomu and show Greedy to join our team. That's why it looks like it's gonna be happening. 